Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Yeah. <sighs> Today, we're going to be taking a look at a clip where somebody proclaims that thin shaming is not as bad as fat shaming because of systemic yada 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 biases, pfft, all kinds of nonsense. We're also going to be taking a look at some related clips and some miscellaneous clips. Who is that flower looking at? What What is it doing? It's staring at my poster <laughs> in admiration? There we go. Fixed it. The flower must stare at the back of my head with admiration. To properly examine these clips, I must first apply comb to mustache. All right, so this person is saying, fat shaming and skinny shaming are the same, like it goes on both ways. I agree. Of course it's the same. Why would there be any difference? Fat shaming and skinny shaming are the same. Actually, no, they're not. Actually, yes, they are. <laughs> Takes care of that. Dunsky. Anyway, that about does it. <laughs> I just end the video right there. Fat people are denied jobs. Uh, no, they're not. Show me the statistics that prove that fat people are denied jobs. Oh yeah, you don't have any. You're literally just pulling this out of your rear end. Proper medical care. They're not denied proper medical care. If somebody tells you to lose weight, that's in the interest of your health. And it's being recommended to you by a healthcare professional, a doctor. Health insurance, they're paid less. Health insurance, okay. You might have to pay more for health insurance because you're currently suffering from a chronic illness. It's just the nature of health insurance. If you go to get insurance, they're gonna ask you a bunch of stuff like, are you a smoker? Are you old? Do you slip on banana peels all the time? If you answered yes to any of these questions, we're gonna have to charge you more because guess what? You're more likely to be going to the doctor all the time because you have one of those conditions. Obesity, much like slipping on a banana peel frequently, is a chronic medical condition. And I know this is a shocker, but it causes health problems. <gasps> they don't have equal access to clothing, travel, many public spaces. They don't have equal access to clothing, travel, many public spaces. Well, as I've said many times before, if we were to make public spaces that accommodate obese people, they would not accommodate people that are not obese. So let's not reward people for being outliers. Society is built around the norm. And we've talked many, many times about clothing, okay? There's plenty of larger clothing available online or Torrid or any of these other big and tall type of places. Even the body mass index, the way that it discriminates against women, especially women of color. Bruh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How does the BMI discriminate against women, especially women of color? So you're saying that women of color have a different body type than women who are not colored. By the way, that used to be considered an absolute slanderous term. I can't believe that once again, here we go, another one of these stupid terms. I hate the term person of color. It's moronic, dude. So how is the BMI prejudiced against women? Because it says that a woman of the same height as a man is supposed to weigh less? Because of the fact that women have less muscle? And muscle weighs more than fat? This is just simple biology. Also, how is the BMI unfair to people who are of color? Saying that the BMI is biased against people of color implies that people of color have a different body type than you or me or anybody else. If our differences are only the color of our skin, then what the hell are you talking about? It was created for and based around white men. Actually, the body positivity movement was uh, created for men. Men that were into larger ladies. The basis for the fat acceptance movement was literally the National Association for the Advancement of Fat Acceptance, which was started by some dudes. Some dudes who liked larger women and they were sick of getting made fun of. That's literally the basis of your movement. But you're trying to turn it around and say that the BMI was started by dudes with nefarious purposes. Look at your own movement, if you could call it that. Like, fat phobia is literally rooted in anti-blackness. It's what? <laughs> this tired ass saying again. All right, well, let me ask my black viewers. Do you think that fat phobia is based in anti-blackness? When somebody tells somebody, hey, buddy, maybe you should lose weight. Do you feel personally attacked as a black person? I would think not. But, you know, I could be wrong. I mean, you tell me. And are you sick of all these people trying to gain validity for their movement by roping you in? I would be annoyed as hell about that. Like if they were to say, fat phobia is rooted in anti-mustacheness. I would have to take issue with that and be like, whoa, 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 buddy. Don't bring me into your issue. This is your issue, okay? 
Don't try to make yourself more legitimate by roping in a protected class, mustachioed men, into your little movement, okay? Because it's not giving it any more legitimacy. Rooted in racism and sexism. Sexism, too. Oh, boy. How's that? Are you going to explain how any of this is rooted in X, Y, or Z? And also, does it matter, even if it was, which it's not, what it is rooted in? I'm sick of people trying to say that this thing or that thing is not valid because it's rooted in X, Y, Z. First of all, it's not rooted in any of those things. And secondly, even if it were, who cares? That's completely irrelevant. Did you guys know that the pencil sharpener was invented by the same man who started the KKK? No, I didn't know that, but uh, does the pencil sharpener work to sharpen a pencil effectively? Because that's really what I'm concerned with. Skinny shaming is not. How many times have you seen marketing campaigns that are labeled? All right, skinny shaming is not rooted in all those things, apparently. So it's not as valid. So it doesn't matter the words that people say. What matters is that somebody made up all this nonsense saying that all this crap is rooted in stuff that it's not. And what if I were to say that fat shaming is okay because the food pyramid it was created by Little Debbie? You guys knew that, right? Get fat quick. Finally add those stubborn 30 pounds. Show me where all the weight gain industries are. Show me all the damaging messages that- The weight gain industries? Oh, it's called fast food. It's called the food pyramid. It's called the entire way that you were taught to eat. By the way, fat does not clog arteries. Your arteries get stiff from sugar and that limits the blood flow and gives you high blood pressure. The more you know. Say that skinny equals unworthy life or skinny equals ugly. When is the last time that you've been penalized financially when an aircraft seat had to be accommodated to your smaller body? Well, the smaller body doesn't take up the full seat, so there's no problem. If your larger body takes up multiple seats, you're not being penalized. You're paying for what you are using, my friend. I'm going to need a full frontal ice pick lobotomy to help me unlearn all the things that this person just said because it's total dribble. When is the last time you've walked into a doctor's office and after they weighed you, stopped listening to what you were actually there for and told you to just gain weight because it will fix everything? Um, you know, people with a restrictive ED have heard that a million times, I'm sure. Fat people endure all of that and more. Skinny people do not face employment discrimination or medical discrimination. And neither do fat people. There's no discrimination about it. If you can't do the job, then we're not hiring you. And if your medical conditions are likely caused by your weight, we're gonna tell you to lose weight before we look into other things. This is simple. The world was designed for you. The world was designed by me, not just for me, by me. Eat a burger is just not comparable to systemic abuse and oppression. One is not more valid than the other. Getting hassled for your weight is getting hassled for your weight. Stop trying to act like one is more valid than the other because of all this made up systemic nonsense that you just pulled out of your rear end. None of that is true. You have no examples, no citations. All you have are a bunch of hyperbolic speculations. That rhymes, yo. I should put that to a beat. All right, here's what's really gonna shock you all. That video that we just watched has over 800,000 likes. Society is on a speed run to go right into the crapper. Next. I've decided that I'm going to actively assume that every a thin person is fat phobic until proven otherwise. Ah, so I need to prove myself to you. I need to prove to you that I am an ally for some reason. How about you prove to me that you're my ally? How can I appease you, your majesty? I promise I'm a fat ally. Even though I'm not fat, I care about your shit for some reason. Oh, please, please let me serve you. What if you said the reverse? What have you said? I'm going to assume that every fat person got that way from eating too much until proven otherwise. How would that go down? Um, I feel really safe in making this assumption. <laughs> you feel really safe in making this assumption. Um, okay. Based off of 29 years of lived experience. Oh, so you've been alive for a whole 29 years and now you feel that you have the right to go around judging people based on the way that they look and then get angry when people do the same to you. It's a nice shirt, by the way. Um, I've also decided that, like, I will not be, uh, fostering relationships with, with skinny people. Uh, your smoke alarm needs a new battery. Until they have done something to demonstrate that they are, in fact, um, an ally to fat people. <laughs> uh, how many people are lined up outside of your door waiting to prove their loyalty to you so that you'll accept them? My guess? I will not be accepting questions at this time. Well, that's good because I don't have any questions for you. I'm just disappointed that I couldn't be a better fat ally. Oh, dang it. If only there was more that I could have done 
than just sit on this couch and laugh. I wouldn't have done it because it sounds like a lot of work. And I also don't care. Next. I want to know a time when somebody called you fat without explicitly saying you are fat. Oh boy. So this is what I looked like when I was in high school. I was just shy of 300 pounds. Um, but I am really tall, so some people are like, oh, it doesn't even look like that much. And I was in the yearbook and we were, we were taking pictures and it just so happened we had this even number of boys and girls. And so someone had the genius idea of, oh, all the girls get on someone's back and everyone scrambled so they weren't stuck with me. All right, so you're gonna take some pictures for the high school yearbook or whatever, and somebody had the idea that all the girls hop on the back of the guys and the guys hold them. You are in a larger body, as it were, so this must have been mortifying. So it's done to me and one dude, and I was about to say like, oh, it's okay, like, I'll just, like, we can just stand off to the side. This guy freaks out and is like so upset, he storms out. He's like, I can't carry that bitch. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, I feel for you. This is horrible. What an embarrassing story. Oh, my God. But you said you were about to tell him, it's okay, you don't have to carry me. So you didn't actually get to that part. You just stood there and then everybody else started jumping on everybody else's back. And he's like, I can't do that. And he ran off. <laughs> um, I'm not laughing at like how messed up it is. I'm laughing at his thought process of like, I can't carry her and everyone's going to think that I'm weak. Like once again, it comes down to people tripping out about how they're going to be perceived by everybody else. You're mortified because that's embarrassing as hell. He's mortified because he doesn't want to look weak. It's a lose-lose situation. Um, long story short, there's a photo in the yearbook of a bunch of girls smiling on guys' backs and me standing off to the side, um, fatly. <laughs> standing off to the side, fatly. Oh my God, that's a horrible story, man. That made me feel bad. I feel bad for this person. That sucks. Whose idea was that anyway? What a terrible idea. You see that there's at least one person who's probably too large to go up on somebody else's back. So you probably shouldn't have made that suggestion unless everybody can participate and nobody gets their feelings hurt. It was some psychotic teacher that just wanted you to feel bad. I wouldn't be surprised. Next. I can't leave the house unless I'm wearing something like flattering. Yo, me too. I feel ya. I dress up just to go to the gas station. No, I'm just kidding. No, cause let's talk about this. Especially now that I'm in college, people often wear like leggings and sweatpants and sweatshirts to classes. Laziness, kick them all out. But I don't, not usually anyway. But it's because the difference is whenever a skinny girl wears leggings and sweatpants and sweatshirts, they're always gonna be perceived as beautiful. They're gonna be perceived as beautiful when they wear sweatpants and leggings in public? You sure they're not just perceived as somebody who didn't feel like putting on actual clothes? Whenever I see somebody wearing sweatpants or leggings in public, I'm just like, hey, twinsies, I also don't give a crap. <laughs> 90% of the time when I'm filming these videos, I'm wearing some sort of joggers or gym shorts. They'll be perceived as having this effortless, flawless look to them, where if I show up wearing that with the body I have, I'm going to be perceived as lazy. Are you sure? Where are you getting these ideas of what you're going to be perceived as? Like, are you just assuming that people are going to perceive you this way? Or have people actually called you lazy, sloppy, or whatever? while also praising the quote, skinny girls, end quote. A slob, someone who doesn't care about their appearance just because I'm fat. Is there a parallel to be drawn between this and like when a skinny person eats a bunch of food versus when a fat person eats a bunch of food? One of them people think is cute and quirky and the other one is like, oh my God, what are you doing? And like, I decided to wear this today. It's a rainy Monday. And I just wanted to go to the library and study. The amount of dirty looks I got compared to when I wore a flattering outfit, astronomical. The amount of dirty looks you got. So you were looking around the room to see if anybody was giving you a dirty look. Well, let me tell you something. If you go into a room and you automatically think that everybody is perceiving you negatively, you're going to see that on everybody's face, whether it's there or not, because you're all obsessed with how everyone is perceiving you. You're like, oh my God, they're looking at me. They're judging me. Some guy like is looking at his book. He just glances over, but he's got this look on his face. And then you're like, oh my God, that was a negative look because of the clothes I'm wearing. Whether they are perceiving you negatively or not is irrelevant. You're going to perceive it that way. 
Once again, most people aren't paying attention. I guarantee you the dude at the library who glanced over at you like that wasn't giving you a dirty look because of how you're dressed. He was just like, oh, somebody made a noise. I lost my focus on this freaking book. And then he started thinking, God, I hate my life. I hate college. Will I get sick? Was that one girl negatively judging me when she glanced over at me? Astrophonomical. All right, so once again, somebody thinks that they're the center of the universe and everybody is staring at them and judging them negatively for the stupid little crap that they do in their life that nobody else is actually paying attention to. I've got a public service announcement for all of you. Nobody's paying attention to you. Nobody cares. Everybody's just as worried about their own crap as you are about your crap. The dude that you thought looked over at you negatively was thinking that you were looking at him negatively. He's like, why is that chick judging me? And then you're all like, why is he judging me? It's hilarious, you guys should get together. So is there any validity to the idea that it's okay to thin shame people, but not okay to fat shame people? Um, no. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. It's either all okay or none of it's okay. You're not special because you perceive yourself to be part of some protected class. There are no protected classes. You can all get it just the same. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.